Let's do a survey about how we would measure the volume of fluids under, under US customary units. So the smallest volume of fluid that you'll hear people talk about, and this will often be in cooking recipes or something like this, you'll talk about someone, you'll talk about a teaspoon, a teaspoon, and most of us have teaspoons that are roughly the size of a teaspoon in our cupboards someplace. So this you know, recipe might call for a teaspoon of sugar, or a teaspoon of salt, or a teaspoon of oil. And you've seen what it looks like, but those are the smaller spoons that you might have in your in your cabinets, in your kitchen at home. So this might be a teaspoon right over here. Now, if you were to take three teaspoons together, you have something else that you would probably have in your cabinets. So if we multiply this volume, so let's say this is right over here is a teaspoon, this right over here is a teaspoon of some substance. If you multiply that by three, then you get to the tablespoon. Table, tablespoon. So three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. So a tablespoon is going to be a little bit bigger. So a tablespoon might look like this. And these are the bigger. These tend to be about the size of the larger spoons that you have in your cupboard. So a tablespoon, just like that. So if you have three times the fluid, you get to a tablespoon. Now, if you take two tablespoons, you take two tablespoons, put them together, then you get to the ounce. And I have to be careful here. You get to the fluid ounce. The fluid ounce. And the US customary units, they aren't designed to be super, super clear because you also have the ounce as a measure of weight. You have the ounce, you have the ounce that is a measure of weight, which is equal to 1 16th of a pound. And now you have a fluid ounce, which you could either view as two tablespoons or, as we'll see, 1 8th. Of a cup. Now you might say, well, why are they both called ounces? What's the relationship between the two? Well, there is a, a, a somewhat of a relationship between the two. If you took a little bit over an a ounce of water, so a weight of ounce of water, a slightly over an ounce of water, that volume is going to be about a fluid ounce. So an ounce of water and a fluid ounce, a fluid ounce of water, <laughs> an ounce of water in weight. And a fluid ounce of water and volume are very, very, very close, although they aren't exactly the same thing. Now, if you were to take any, you know, if you think about what would you measure here, we already talked about recipes and teaspoon, tablespoon, fluid ounce, you might be thinking about how much medicine maybe someone might take. Maybe they need to take two tablespoons, which would be equivalent to a fluid ounce. Now, if you take eight fluid ounces and put them together, so let me, make, let me draw a fluid ounce here just so I, we keep, we, just so we still have drawings. So you could imagine some medicines have a little cap on the top that you could put the medicine in. So that might be, if you do two tablespoons in it, maybe that'll be the, a fluid ounce. Now if you take eight fluid ounces, if you take eight fluid ounces, then you get to a cup. Then you get to a cup. And many of us have this in our kitchens. We have a, a measuring cup that will measure exactly a cup. And you might have a recipe for pancakes that say, hey, put a cup of flour in there. Put a cup of flour in there. And also a lot of the cups that you have in your house might be around, might be around the size of a cup. If you look at, say, a can of soda that you're probably familiar with, a can of soda, the typical can of soda, is 12 ounces, not 8 ounces. So a typical can of soda is a cup and a half. We see that a cup is 8 fluid ounces. A typical can of soda is 12 fluid ounces. So it is equivalent, it is equivalent to a cup and a half. Let me make sure this looks like a can of some kind. So this, if this was 12 ounces, if this is 12 ounces, this is one and one half cups. But it gets you a sense of how much fluid volume a cup actually is. Now, if we were to take two cups, if you were to take two cups, now you're dealing with, now you're dealing with a pint. And so you might have seen pints. A pint might look. Sometimes they're in these kind of small cartons. So a pint might look something like this in a carton. That, ha that looks more like a house, but I think hopefully you get the, the picture that this is intended to be a carton of some kind. So you have something like that. And so the pint, it's two cups. And so let's say this is the fluid inside of it. Let's say this was transparent. You might see it there. Or if you have like a very large mug, that might be the size of a pint. So if you have a kind of a very large a very large mug like this. So my best attempt at drawing a large mug. This might be roughly, roughly equal, 
roughly equal to a pint. So let me put some fluid in here. So there you go. There's my large mug. It's got a pint. Now, if you take two pints, you take two pints, now you're dealing with a quart. And you might have found yourself going to your local convenience store and buying a quart of milk. A quart of milk. Those are kind of those longer, those longer but still kind of skinny, skinny looking. So it might look, it might look something like this. I'm trying to draw, make a carton of a quart of milk. And then finally, if you were to take, if you were to take four quarts together, you get to a gallon. So you take four quarts together, so times four, you get to a gallon. You get to a gallon. So we're most familiar with a, a gallon of milk. So let me see if I can draw a gallon of milk here. My best attempt at, well, I'm sure someone could draw a better gallon of milk here, but you've, it's, at least in the US, it tends to be one of the, mo the most typical ways that they sell they sell milk, and it has oftentimes a little red or orange thing right on, on top there. So a gallon of milk. So just to review things, and if we want to think, you know, right here I just multiplied from the smaller unit to the larger one. But if you want to think about everything in terms of ounces, that's one way to think about it. A cup, a cup right over here is equal to, so this is going to, a cup is going to be equal to eight ounces. Eight ounces is equal to a cup. If you multiply that by two, then you get to 16 ounces is equal to a pint. If you multiply that by two, you get 32 ounces. 32 ounces is equal to a quart. And if you multiply that times four, you get 30 times four is 120 plus eight. You get 128, 128 ounces per gallon. And so next time you go buy something in the supermarket, I encourage you to look at it, what, how it's being measured. And you'll see oftentimes you might buy a quart of milk, but they'll also say that this is a 32 ounce container. And in this context, they're talking about fluid ounces.